Hi and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video we will learn how we can automatically discover and create SNMP entities by using Zabbix Low Level Discovery. Let's start by navigating to Configuration, Hosts. Finding our SNMP host and clicking on the Discovery button. Next, click on the Create Discovery Rule button to create our SNMP low-level discovery rule. Here, let's populate the discovery rule name, select the SNMP agent type, and provide a key for the rule. Any key can be used here. The field which specifies what we're going to discover is the SNMP OID field. Since the contents of the field can be quite long, I will copy the contents into the field first. Let's look at the contents of the field. The OID will start with the word discovery and a list of LLD macros and OIDs in parentheses. We can see that we are populating macros such as if opera status, if admin status, if name, if description, and if type with the contents of the OIDs following these macros. The values populating these macros can then be used in filters and prototypes created by the discovery rule. Let's open the filters tab and filter our discovered entities by the value of if type. I do not wish to discover entities whose if type equals to 24, meaning loopback interfaces. Now let's add the discovery rule. Open the item prototype section. Click on the create item prototype button. I will use the if description LLD macro in the item prototype name so each created item has a unique name. Next, select the type SNMP agent. We also have to populate the key. The key here can be written in free form since once again we will use the OID field to specify which values should be collected. Don't forget to populate the key field with an LLD macro to make each item created from this prototype have a unique key. I will use the SNMP index LLD macro here. As for the OID field, here we have to specify which OID the metric will be collected from. I will populate my field with the OID and enter my SNMP index macro at the end of the OID. This way, each item created from the prototype will collect its values from the corresponding index at the end of the OID. Let's also populate the units. We will be collecting bytes per second. Since the SNMP metric is a counter, we also need to open the preprocessing tab and add a change per second preprocessing rule, as well as use a custom multiplier to convert bytes to bits. Finally, I will open the tags section and add a tag. I will use the if type LLD macro and tag my items with their interface type. Once you have finished configuring the item, press add and add the item prototype. Now let's wait for some time for the rule to execute and open the items section on our host. Once I filter in only the discovered items, I can see that the rule has successfully created incoming traffic items for my interfaces and the loopback interface has been filtered out. As you can see, SNMP low-level discovery can be quite flexible and can be used to obtain a wide range of information useful for filtering and grouping your discovered entities. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.